<sighs> there. She's ready. Ah, she stirs. To Curthus, and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Enterprise, engage. I once flew in this airship, and I was not alone. There were adventurers on board, adventurers like you. Just how long have I worn these damn goggles? Ah, uh, yes. I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. The young prodigy, admired by all. Exactly like his father. Born and raised in Garlemald. It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter? You abandoned us all. But he was there for me, father. There for me when you were not. Though he proved no better in the end. Gaius was just another man with an all-consuming obsession. And so I ran, left the Empire behind and came to Eorzea, where I built the ironworks.
Ah yes, it was then that I first donned these goggles. Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People worth saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home. I had forgotten how wonderful it was. The wind in your hair, the endless sky. That light. It was you, wasn't it? It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure-blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. The Enterprise was made for this, to carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphenord, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. I remember everything. My name, my people, and my purpose. Everything. Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting.
Why do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it! Ah! Impossible Garuda, it is! Kill you all! Is that all? Oh, Lady of the Vortex! Oh, mighty Garuda! Of all primals, the most terrible, I say again, is that all? Gaius! Ah, uh, Sid, my boy, you look well. For one who has forsaken kin and country, I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... Well, I shall accomplish far more. Is that all? Is that all? Insolent mortal! I shall make you suffer! That foul stench! I see now. She has touched you! Very well. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? Lord of the Inferno, Almighty Freed, grant us succor in our hour of need. Save us, Titan, Lord of Crags. Ah, it hurts us so. The pain, the pain. What is she? Twelve Preserve. She cannot mean to... No, this is all wrong! Stop gopping, boy! We must run! Surrender yourselves unto me! I would feast upon your ether! None shall stand against the wind! Witness to the glory of the Empire! You who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alec had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair.
magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. Twelve, have mercy! What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion, and Supreme Commander of the Garlean Invasion Force in Eorzea. Of course! The Black Wolf! How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts, but that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, guys! Where in the Seven Hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments, but the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the Primals to one side, for the time being at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. <laughs> 